Hi, I am Srijesh, a Cloud Support Engineer at the AWS office in Sydney. In this video, I will walk you through the steps to upload an SSL TLS certificate to AWS IAM. So let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the ACM Console. To configure an HTTPS listener on a load balancer or a CloudFront distribution, you must have a SSL or TLS certificate. We recommend that you use AWS Certificate Manager or ACM to request a new SSL or TLS certificate or import a certificate obtained from a third-party certificate authority. However, in some scenarios, you might have to use certificate algorithms and key sizes that aren't supported by ACM. For example, perhaps you can't install certificates with 4096-bit RSA keys or elliptic curve keys, also known as EC keys, on your classic load balancer or application load balancer through integration with ACM. In such cases, you must upload these certificates to AWS IAM so that you can use them with your load balancer or CloudFront distribution. Now, let's open a terminal and upload a 2048-bit RSA certificate to IAM. Before uploading the SSL or TLS certificate to IAM, be sure that the certificate is valid at the time of upload. You can verify this by using OpenSSL command. Upload date should be between not before and not after dates. Because we can view the output of this command in text format, we can confirm that the certificate is PEM encoded, which is a requirement to upload the certificate to IAM. If the file content is binary, then the certificate might be either DER or PKCS12. If so, then you must convert the certificate, the private key and the certificate chain so that they are PEM encoded. To convert DER to PEM, use the command OpenSSL x509-inform der-in certificate.cer-out certificate.pem. To convert PKCS12, also known as PFX, to PEM, use the command OpenSSL PKCS12-in certificate.pfx-out certificate.cer-notes. Now, let's perform the steps to upload a certificate to IAM. As you can see, I have three files here, ca underscore bundle.crt, certificate.crt, and private.key. Certificate.crt is the public key, and ca underscore bundle.crt has the root and intermediate certificates. ca underscore bundle is also known as the certificate chain. Be sure that the certificates inside CA underscore bundle or the certificate chain are in the correct order, starting with the certificate that is generated by your certificate authority and ending with your certificate authority's root certificate. Each of the certificates, except for the first one, must directly certify the one preceding it. If an intermediate certificate is missing or if the certificates are not in the correct order inside the certificate chain, then some browsers, mobile devices, applications and so on won't trust the SSL certificate. To upload the certificate, run the following command. If you don't provide file colon slash slash when specifying the path, you will receive the error message unable to pass the certificate. The output now displays the certificate ID, name, ARN and expiration date. You can also see slash mentioned as the default path. This is the default path for load balancer certificates. For CloudFront certificates, specify a path using the hyphen path option. That path must begin with slash CloudFront. For example, the following command. After the certificate is uploaded, you can view all the server certificates in IAM by using this command. You can now use these certificates on your load balancer or CloudFront distribution. Let's go to the load balancer console and try to apply this certificate. Now we are back in the AWS management console. Let me navigate to ALB console.
Select the ALB you want to apply the certificate to. Choose listeners and then add listener. Select HTTPS. Select default action forward to and select the target group. For default SSL certificate, select from IIM and select ALB certificate. This ALB is now ready to listen on HTTPS port 443 with the uploaded certificate. Let's now go to the Amazon CloudFront console. Select the CloudFront distribution you want to apply the certificate to. Click on edit to update the SSL certificate. Click on custom SSL certificate. You can see that the certificate that was uploaded with the path slash CloudFront slash web is the only one available for the CloudFront distribution. Select the certificate and then choose yes edit. The CloudFront is now ready to listen on HTTPS listener. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>